What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Warmy, and it's becoming more and more obvious that a certain sect of the uh, more established class and individuals that have more political agendas and stuff like that are deciding to point their ire and their animosity towards gamers instead of maybe actually looking in on their own misgivings and their own issues. And what might I be talking about here? Well, last week we ended up having this start popping up and I have a PC gamers tweet uh, uh, up here in particular, mainly because it's the only one that had bookmarked at the time. Uh, Steam accused of normalizing hate and extremism in the gaming community in new ADL report. Now, I've read through this whole article. They don't actually cite any real evidence. They don't actually do anything. They just say, here's an X amount of uh, examples. Here's X amount of this. They're, but they don't actually cite an example. They don't actually show an example. They just say, trust me, bro. And in modern day 2024, uh, I need a whole lot more than trust me, bro, to continue going down any path you're trying to lay out. But... It was pretty obvious that this was a targeted attack. This was a targeted move by the ADL and a bunch of individuals that are just angry with gamers for some odd reason and with no real justification behind it. And, you know, you could come over here to Google and just type Steam ADL and you could see all sorts of different articles coming out about this and how uh, biased it pretty much was. But we now have a uh, new update to this whole uh, shenanigans. Because we come over here to Fandom Pulse, U.S. Senator Mark Warner threatens federal action against Steam if it does not take action against alleged anti-Semitism claims. This is a, a very key difference here. Right now, Twitch, and I'm using Twitch as a good example, uh, Twitch is going under some similar issues, uh, some, some uh, anti-Semitism claims, also spearheaded by the ADL. The difference here, though is on Twitch, anybody can click on Twitch and go to Hassan Piker or any of the other individuals on Twitch, any other high profile individuals, and see some of the things they actually say on Twitch, actively look this stuff up, actually point to examples of them doing this. And you know, Twitch having its own issues, Twitch having some serious issues, it needs to work out. And even though Twitch right now is going through an apocalypse, it's pretty self-explanatory why they are dealing with that right now. When it comes to Steam, you need a whole lot more evidence and you can't just say, here's example A that I'm not actually going to cite. I'm just going to say showed up X amount of times. I, I, I need an actual like screenshot. I need validation. I need to actually dig into this. I need to see what the heck you're talking about. Otherwise, it just comes off as you don't like how Steam moderates their gaming platform. And uh, this is a very example why having a senator now come out here targeting Steam, targeting gamers and saying they need to rectify how they do things to make him seem good. This is all a PR stunt, by the way, more bolster and bluster from the ADL, considering what's going on in the actual political sphere right now, ever since the election of the uh, great orange man. Uh, yeah, I don't think this dude has any actual power or anything like that. But why, why don't we read through some of this, shall we? Mark Warner, a U.S. senator from the state of Virginia, threatened federal action against Steam and its parent company, Valve, if it does not take action against alleged anti-Semitism supposedly proliferating on the website. Warner posted on X, I'm taking action against hateful and anti-Semitic rhetoric proliferating on Steam. We need to ensure that social networks aren't breeding grounds for extremist, violent groups. Now, here's the thing. The federal government for the past couple of years have been specifically targeting gamers as extremist organizations and as a problem. They have been coming after gamers hardcore trying to cite all sorts of crazy insane rhetoric as an examples and credence as to go do down this route and i could pull up some examples right now for you we could come over here to nyu gaming the system how extremists exploit gaming sites and what can be done to counter them we could come over here to rusi which i don't know extremism and gaming our research investigation and exploitation on online gaming by violent extremists 
and the feds are coming for extremist games. I'm not going to log into this, but I've read this before. There's actually federal documents trying to cite specifically games like Roblox and things like that as breeding grounds for extremism and things that actually need to be taken down. This has been an ongoing thing. This has been a consistent thing where government funded groups and groups that are actually powered by the government, so on and so forth, have been targeting gamers and gaming sites as breeding grounds for all sorts of crazy extremist groups. When in reality, there's no real evidence to bolster these points. They just say it because maybe during a handful of games here or there, people say some naughty no, no words that they shouldn't be saying. And uh, these people think that that's evidence that these people are going to end up going out there and causing uh, extreme action or taking very dangerous action. And that's all, all that we're seeing here is just another example of the federal government and individuals working within the federal government coming out here and taking aim at different gaming groups, different gaming organizations, because they need to try to stifle and hinder the power of the gamer even though there's no real evidence to ever back any of this up and it's only bolster and bluster to try to censor free speech censor gamers quash gamers and their ability to actually have fun when these people are just you know doing what they do for politics and all they're doing is politicking the entire time an attached press release also revealed U.S. Sin Mark. I'm not going to read that. Today urged leadership at Valve, a prominent video game company, to respond to reports that their gaming distribution and social networking platform Steam is hosting extremist and hateful content, including over 1.5 million users and tens of thousands of groups that share and amplify anti-Semitic Yahtzee sexuality or gender-based hate and white supremacist condemned. It added, Sin Warner called for broad action from Valve to bring its content moderation standards in line with industry standards and crack down on the rampant prolific of hate-based content. None of which is actually substantiated. Again, it's going on the trust me bro mentality, but what is happening here is just that. It's another example of and I've said it multiple times, of just the federal government trying to use its power and its position to clamp down on other companies for not going with the way that they want to go, deciding to, you know, silence gamers, deciding to quash the gaming industry because they're allowed to have fun. There's all sorts of just crazy games on Steam. Steam's just there. Everybody uses Steam. Everybody knows Steam. And because Steam holds the most amount of players, they're targeting it as just something to try to quash the gaming industry and bring them to heel under their boot. Of note, Warner's team cited a report from the Anti-Defamation League claiming that over more than 1.8 million unique pieces of extremist and hateful content, including explicitly anti-Semitic, neo yahtzee and Islamic terrorism material were identified on Steam, the world's largest and most popular online gaming marketplace. And, and I can keep going on, but that's all this is. It's bluster. It's a tax. It's them trying to quash another site. When it came to Twitch, that was one thing, okay? I don't like it happening to Twitch. I'm never going to like it happening to Twitch, uh, even though I hate Twitch, and I think Twitch is a vile platform that allows a bunch of vile things. Freedom of speech allows them to actually say those things. All at the same time, I'm not going to feel sorry for Twitch because everybody kept warning them, hey, you need to get a clamp on this or else something bad's about to happen, okay? And I'm not going to cry over the fact that maybe Hassan's having a hard time right now, mainly because he wouldn't cry over me having a hard time. So there's that. There's an argument for Twitch, okay? There's a, there's a very valid argument going down on Twitch right now. It's very plain to see. It, there's examples after examples. There's videos after videos of their highest profile individuals saying some things that, um, you know, go a little too far even for me and uh, are openly platforming and supporting terrorist groups. Hassan is a very good example of that. But when it comes to Steam, you're talking about a much bigger gaming system. You're talking about a much bigger platform. You're talking about something that has almost every gamer on it 
you're gonna get crazy shite. You can't have a perfect platform. You, they could do the best that they can, but if you're gonna say uh, there's 1.8 million unique instances of this, what are they? Actually cite them, actually show them. You're not willing to do that. You're not willing to actually cite any of these moments. You're just saying that it's happening because you wanna bolster it and say it's a whole lot worse than it probably actually is. 1.8 million unique pieces of, ex of content. There's a whole lot more than 1.8 million users because when we actually do a simple Google search, um, monthly activity users, Steam has 132 million monthly active users. So you're talking about a less of a percent of individuals actually using Steam that spread the stuff, when in reality, Steam has a much, much, much larger user base than 1.8 million. You're talking about a microscopic amount of individuals, a microscopic amount of times that this stuff actually comes up. All, and I've been saying it over and over again. This is just the ADL trying to get another site to come under heel. Okay, they did it with X recently. If you remember at the beginning of the year or so, ADL was coming after X and saying that they were allowing hateful rhetoric and content like that all over the platform, that it was a big deal, and Elon Musk needed to put a stop to it. What did Elon Musk do? Nothing. Where is the ADL now? Not talk about X because Elon Musk wasn't going to play the game. That's all you're seeing here. You have the federal government, you have ADL, you have all these individuals trying to bring Steam to heel. And I'm more afraid that it might work, but the problem is if you actually do a simple Google search and you actually start thinking about it, what they're citing is nothing. And they're just saying it's happening without actually giving any evidence to it. If you actually saw the evidence and saw what they were talking about, more than likely, it's just a bunch of people posting a bunch of BS online and just trolling the whole time. It's not anything actually real, but they don't care about that. They've never cared about that. These people don't care one little bit. It's the same reason why here on YouTube, I can't say certain things. Even if I say it in a joking manner or something like that, I can't say it because YouTube will get mad. And that's because groups like the ADL, things like that have brought YouTube to heal. They're doing it to Twitch right now. Now they're going to try to do it with Steam. All you got to do is say, screw off. That's all you got to do. But I don't even know if Steam's going to be able to do that because right now Steam's under an overtly obvious targeted campaign to get them to submit. And I don't know if Steam has the backbone to say no. But I'm going to leave it there. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all of this down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Shout out to friends. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put on a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.